Hi, folks. My name is Greg Turner, the radiology coach. My job is to demystify the enigmatic world of x-rays. X-rays are a graduated form of electromagnetic radiation that specifically have penetrating capabilities. Their ability to pass through elements depends on their strength or wavelengths. If the wavelengths are short enough, X-radiation can clear a large variety of thick elements. Let's first start with elements that the rays have a difficult time passing through. Lead is one, although this is dependent on the thickness of the lead versus the power of the radiation. Most lead aprons in a department only fend off up to 95% of scatter radiation. So, in all reality, the x-rays can mildly traverse through lead. Granite or rock is another substantive material that proves highly resistant to x-rays. However, when the right amount of radiation is applied, researchers such as paleontologists or mineralogists utilize high-powered x-rays to determine the makeup of rocks as well as foreign bodies within them. Steels and metals are usually also highly resistant to x-rays, particularly very thick steel. Although regarded as highly resistant, there are machines that can penetrate steel that is 2.5 inches thick or less. If scientists use gamma rays, they can penetrate through steel that is slightly thicker. Tungsten is also resistant material that can fend off most rays. It is proven effective because it is used in x-ray cameras to generate the rays. Specialists also use tungsten along with other metals to create an x-ray resistant matrix that is integrated to form new lightweight x-ray aprons. The bottom line is that there are several materials that are highly resistant to x-rays, but when high doses are applied, radiation is powerful enough to penetrate through, depending on the thickness and circumstances. That being said, x-rays can pass through aluminum, glass, wood, plaster, rubber, brick, and a host of other materials. We know this because of the multiple applications that utilize this technology. Tire manufacturers use x-rays to assess the integrity of their products. They can inspect the internal structures to determine design consistencies and spot flaws. Plane manufacturers use x-rays to visualize and assess their parts. Equipment manufacturers and engineers inspect their work and internal structures in the same way. It is obvious that x-rays can pass through skin, bone, and tissue. Throughout the last century, Engineers have mastered the skill sets of leveraging radiation to enhance our knowledge. As time passes, there are increased usages of this electromagnetic marvel. X-rays can be stopped or inhibited, but in the appropriate setting, they can also thrive and surprise us. As it turns out, the most significant enemy of X-rays isn't heavy steel, thick lead, or massive rock. It is an element that is all around us, air. Yes, air. As radiation passes through the air, atoms pick apart the x-ray photons one by one until eventually the photons dissipate. To us, distance is the best resistance against dangerous scatter or exposure. In medical environments, it is simply six feet from an x-ray target, not behind it, but to the side. Even if you stand behind a target, 25 feet will clear you from major x-ray exposure. Ironically, something that we can't even see is our greatest weapon against x-ray exposure. That concludes this segment on what exactly can x-rays pass through. If you like this presentation, please select the subscribe button below this video. You can also tap the bell next to it so that we'll notify you when other great videos have posted. My name is Greg Turner and I'm the Radiology Coach. And remember, mark my word and mark your films.